There's an old Arab proverb that states, put things in their places and they'll put you in your place. To begin to shoot like a pro, you need a logical progression of the images you shoot. A very basic method of doing this is the sequence. This is shooting any action from a variety of positions. Always think while shooting to start with a wide to medium shot, establishing what's going on, then a tight shot of the action. Follow this with a shot of the subject's face, this usually shows emotion, a close-up of the form, and an overview from the top. As you can see, sequencing not only establishes visual continuity, but it makes for more interesting viewing. Avoid making shots too short. In news, we try to keep each shot around 10 seconds. One very important thing to remember in making your video look sharp is to edit in the camera. In other words, don't overshoot. Before you ever touch that trigger, make sure your shot is composed exactly as you want it in the viewfinder. Many a trigger-happy home video expert has suffered humiliation with this flaw in shooting. Also, keep in mind, television is a close-up medium. Avoid ultra-wide shots. Remember, the name of the game is fill the frame. Another great way of making your home video a shot above the rest is using shot variations. By lowering the camera to ground level, or going extra high to make an ordinary shot exceptional. Another mistake people make is only shooting from the subject's point of view. Try adding an objective point of view in your sequence sometime for a truly different perspective. If there is a single enemy in video, it has to be the jump cut. This is an abrupt change between two different shots in the same scene. Sequencing shots avoid these ugly creatures, but another great method is taking the subject in and out of frame. As you can see, with this method, we can illustrate action developing, show a passage of time, or simply change from one scene or location to another. My only warning is to watch for continuity. If someone exits frame right, make sure he or she re-enters the same scene from the same side. Otherwise, people will wonder how the subject magically walked around the other end. No one becomes a pro overnight. Use these basic tips and I'm sure you'll see a great improvement in your image. Shooting like a pro for News Team 33, I'm photographer Tom Talbert.